All right. Still in the process of restoring the McGregor 25. About to do boat windows today. I actually cut these boat windows out um, quite a bit larger and kind of shaped them a little differently than the, nor the original McGregor windows. I wanted more light inside and I like sitting at the table and watching the waves. So I wanted bigger windows and my wife wanted them to be shaped a little differently. Got the doggy in here. What are you doing, Rake? You staying cool? <clears throat> so how I do it is I take acrylic and I actually cut out acrylic, um, eighth inch. I sail on protected waters on lakes, so I don't really need the quarter inch if you go out and anywhere else you'd want a quarter inch um, and the way I do these windows is I cut them out and then uh, I leave the original backing plastic this plastic here on this side and then I will cut out about an inch around the actual window here I will cut that plastic off and then strip the plastic off of it <clears throat> and then I sand this edge all around it on all of the windows and then I put enamel on it. I always use enamel because it sticks really well. Um, I like to use white. Um, a lot of people use black. But the white actually shows up really well when you are out on the water and the sun hits it it makes it look like it has a frame and I really like that effect now I'm not really too worried about the paint leaking in here through the, the plastic that I cut I'm not really too worried about this not having a real crisp edge because <clears throat> when I put the window in the boat on the inside i caulk around this and it gives it a pretty good edge i mean it's not perfect or anything but i will caulk using down 95 on the outside and the inside so this edge i really don't have to make it really fine or anything and then i'll clean them up a little bit when they're inside the boat <clears throat> so after i paint this enamel on here what I do is I use VHB 3M. My GoPro keeps going off here. I use 3M VHB 4991, and that's the thick stuff. It works really well, and it seals the gap really well. And then I will stick them onto the boat. And then after they're stuck on the boat, I will go back around and I will take the caulk on the edge here to create a waterproof seal all around it. <clears throat> I did a video on the boat windows on my San Juan a couple of years ago. And I kind of wanted to do a little more in-depth video of how I do these. So then I will actually pencil line about an inch here and then an inch here and then I can line them up really well and then slap them on you gotta slap them on properly the first time because you ain't getting that 3m VHB tape off without a chisel and they look pretty good like I said when you're done you get to have that nice white frame uh, in the sunshine, it looks really good. Like I said, some people paint it black. Um, but it works real well and gives... I like to use the amber because it tints everything just a little bit. Keeps a little cooler inside the cabin. Alright, we are going to get on it.
Let's say goodbye to the doggy. Rick, are you staying cool? kind of finish out this video I'm inside the boat now and this is after the windows have all been done I've caulked the insides so they are waterproof inside and outside with the VHB tape and they actually give a lot larger light in here so it is awesome Real easy to do, and they make the boat look totally different. We'll put up a picture of the outside finished windows here in just a second. <laughs> Nasty job. I am furry. <laughs> <laughs> 